In this video, you will learn how to generate this multiple bar graph in Microsoft Excel. You can see here I have the data regarding the production of cotton during different months of 2017 and 2018. First column shows the month, second one shows the uh, year and third one also shows the year. From here, you can see here that the first series shows the production of cotton during different months of 2017. And second series shows the production of cotton during different months of 2018. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel. In a separate sheet, I have already entered this data. Arrange your data like this one. Remember that don't write anything in this uh, cell. Otherwise, you will, it will be create some problems. You can see here I have intentionally left this cell blank. So firstly arrange your data like this one, don't write anything in this cell. After doing that, select this cell and go to insert tab and in insert tab you will find the option of multiple bar graph. Select this one and after that select clustered column chart. Now I will move it here. And I will conditionally format this graph. Firstly, go to this chart element option. And from here, you will find different options. Firstly, uncheck this grid line option to remove these grid lines. After that, select, uh, select these axis title option. You can see here that the axis titles are inserted here. Now I want to change the chart title. Simply click, click here. You can see here that the chart title is selected. Put equal sign in formula bar. And select this cell. Press enter. There is alternate method. You can after selecting this you can manually write anything here and press enter then this will be change this title so you can use any one method now i want to change this to production in bail i will simply write production here and bales Press enter. Now select this one. Put equal sign in formula bar and write sorry, just write month. Press enter. Select this one and I want to change their format. Go to home. And from here, I will select the font size 12. Change its color to black. And bold it. Now after selecting this, double click on Format Painter. And you can see this format is copied now. Now you will click anywhere to format like this one. For example, I will click this one. You can see it. it is formatted like this one. And this one, this one. Legend and title. Now I will change its title font size to 18. That's fine. Now you can see here we have changed this title. Now we will format other section of this graph. For example, I will change their color. I will remove this gap width and I will I want to insert a border and solid axis line with tick marks. So for that purpose select this one, right click, go to format axis option. In format axis you can adjust the minimum or maximum value. For example I will write 1000 here. and. In major unit, I will write 1000. This is the gap between these two digits. 
currently it is 500 i will change it to 1000 click here you can see here that the, these digits are changed now i will scroll down and here you will find the option of tick marks i want to insert tick marks on outside now go to this fill and line option and i want to insert a line in line option select solid line and black color is already selected so i will adjust it width to 1.5 pt now click here and in line option in go to in fill and line option there is the option of line select solid line and select black color and change its width to 1.5 pt go to this series option axis option and from here you will find the option of tick marks i want to insert tick marks on outside now uh, click here to select any data series you can see here that this data series is selected now you can adjust the gap between these two series for example i want to change it to zero simply write zero here and click here you can see here that the gap is removed and i want to adjust the gap width to slightly increase this one that's fine now go to this fill and line option and from here i want to change its color to green there is two option first one is fill and second one is border in fill option select green color now scroll down and in border select solid line select black color and change its width to 1.5 pt similarly select other axis series other series of data and from fill option select solid fill and change its color to green now scroll down and here you will find the option of border in border you can select a solid line and from solid line you can adjust the width of this line using this option now scroll down you will find other option as well now we have completed the formatting of this graph if you want to format this legend select this one right click go to format legend option and from here you can adjust its position either top left right or bottom so you can uh, use these option to select the position of this legend so that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye